Hello everyone, this is Mr. Navratil here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to create the inspirational quote in Adobe Express. Uh, Adobe Express is the graphic design software that we have access to. Uh, once again, to get to Adobe Express, you're going to find yourself on ClassLink, and it will be underneath the Multimedia tab. Uh, it actually says Adobe Creative Cloud. There's a bunch of different services that Adobe kind of gives, um, but if you click on this, it will bring you to a login for Adobe Express. Please make sure that you're using your school email to sign in. Uh, otherwise, you won't get access. Once you are signed in, it should look like this. This is our dashboard. Um, in a pre previous video, I kind of went over all of the different types of uh, processes you can use in Adobe Express. Uh, but today, again, we are specifically looking at the inspirational quote. So um, to get started, you're going to come up and you're going to hit the plus sign here. And we're going to come down to where it says collage. This is going to give us a option of finding a background to begin with. Now, you can choose one of these backgrounds. Uh, obviously, this theme is kind of like family or pets. Um, sometimes it will be just colors. It randomly generates any background that you want. You can skip this step entirely right here if you'd like, or you could upload your own background here. So we're just going to skip it for now. So it's going to ask what type of format we'd like to create for our inspirational quote. The constraint for this project actually is that we're using the square format. Um, these formats are based on different types of multimedia. So for an Instagram story, it would look more like a phone layout. In a Facebook post would look more like a landscape. So uh, as it would be for the YouTube thumbnail and so on. So we're actually going to hit the square um, template and we're going to hit next. Once the project has loaded, you can see the uh, square template is in front of us. So the first step for the inspirational quote would probably be finding an appropriate background. Um, so you have a couple different options. You could come over to where it says photos here. There are many, many, many different types um, of photos that you could potentially choose right from Adobe. Um, so you could hit more here and get a lot of different options with backgrounds. Um, like this, we could bring this in and, and resize it so that it's actually the uh, entirety of the whole page. Um, to get rid of things, you could click and hit the delete or backspace key on your keyboard. You can also go to Google and find your own image. You can download that, put it in your downloads folder, and you could hit upload photo and find it there. And that way you can put in your own stuff. Um, another option is to come down actually where it says backgrounds here. These are images that are kind of meant to be a background. So if we come down and we kind of hit on um, space. So we'll automatically put that background in. It might take a second for the resolution of the image to come through and show. Um, let's see if we can turn this one on. It says, so if we do another one, it's going to ask, do we want to add it uh, and replace the current one that we just did? Or do we want to add it so that it's kind of half and half? or we could add it as an image on top of the other. So let's try out the grid one real quick. Um, and this way we can also choose which one kind of has the larger uh, portion of the canvas or the template that we're using in front of us, which is pretty cool. So you can mess around and, and put in any background uh, that you think is gonna work for your particular quote. So as for this one, let's say let's we're gonna replace the background. Uh, we could click on this one and we can delete uh, the cell and we have our background here. Um, at this point, you need to kind of create the text for the actual quote. Uh, this background's a little plain for me, so let's go ahead and take a look at maybe something a little bit more out there. This looks pretty funky, so let's go with this one. At this point, we need to kind of insert the quote. So you can search Google or maybe a book that you've been reading. Uh, potentially uh, maybe a role model has said something to you recently that um, really resonated with you and you'd like to add in as a quote. Um, I have found mine and I think it kind of suits this um, motif, this kind of design with this hand reaching out here. Uh, mine's by Charles Dickens and it says, no one is useless in this world who lightens the burdens of another. So I'm going to use this. Uh, I can simply take it and copy the quote. We can go back to express here. And what we're going to do is come over on the left-hand side and we're going to hit the text tool. Now we can 
look at all of the different types of kind of formats for text that they have here. And some of these are definitely going to be more appropriate uh, for a quote than others. So for instance, if we were to add in, uh, let's see here, which one? Um, this wouldn't be terrible for a quote, but probably not the best. This, for instance, uh, if we were to add that in and put a quote in, might not be suitable uh, for our needs. Um, if we go down, so this, again, putting a quote inside of something this like this format just kind of doesn't really fit um, what we're looking for. So if, the cool part is, is if we, we go down, there are actual formatted quotes. Um, from Adobe. Now you don't have to use these. You could certainly find another one that uh, is going to work for you, or you could simply just hit your add your own text, and you can change all of those different things to your own liking. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and find the quotes over here, and I'm going to. Oops, I accidentally did that. Let's go back. Uh, I'm going to hit more just to see if there's another type of quote format that I want to use. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. Let's maybe put it over on this side. Uh, I'm thinking that this is out of format because this little black piece here is kind of in the way. So I think what we're going to do is either see if we can get rid of it or we might have to choose a different. Yeah, so that black piece is just going to kind of stay there. Um, I'm not a huge fan. It looks like it's in the way. So let's see if we can find something different. This might be a good one. So if we put this in, yeah, then that fits in the corner pretty well as well. All right, so I have my co uh, quote actually copied still. I'm going to double click on this. And what that's going to do is allow us to edit pretty much everything about it. So first off, I'm going to paste in my quote. Um, and we do want to make sure that if there's anything left over from the format piece that we get rid of that, right? Um, and then from here, you can potentially, you know, change a lot of things. We have the color of the text, for instance. The black on the yellow background is not bad um, and actually might be one of the better choices. You could choose a different color to kind of have it stand out more. Um, a, an example of uh, a color that you wouldn't want to use would be something that's very light, like the yellow of the background. Obviously, this is something that we just kind of can't see anymore. So let's go ahead and go up and hit the undo button on that. We'll leave it at black. Uh, I do like that. We can also change the font, which can very much change the way that this entire thing looks. So for instance, this is a little bit difficult to read at this size. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend using that one. This is not bad. Um, and maybe if we actually increased the font size, we'd be helping ourselves out. A so we can kind of settle on maybe 100 here. This looks pretty good. Uh, it's taking up a pretty good size of the screen in relation to the hand uh, on the other side. So there's a lot of other things that we can mess around with here, too. Uh, we can change the justification or the alignment. So we can go to the right as it is now. We could change it so it's all aligned in the middle. Or we could align it to the left. I kind of like actually aligning it all the way to the right. Um, kind of adds in a little bit more for it being a quote. Now there are other really crazy things you could do by curving the text. So we could make this in a, a gigantic circle if we wanted to. This works in some designs, obviously not so much in this. We could use it as uh, an arc. We could arc it the other way. We can grid these letters. Um, sometimes this works in, in, in against other designs. Honestly, in, for our particular purpose, we want the person to be able to see this and read the quote easily. And this makes it a little bit cryptic, almost like code. Um, and there are other things, too, which just add in effects for you. So in this case, it is uh, making the quote a little bit smaller in font than the actual person who's saying it, which isn't bad. Uh, there's another layout, which is, again, very cool. But for our purposes, I don't think it's going to work so well. So I think what we're going to do, actually, is maybe uh, kind of come up and hit the undo button. And we'll get back to our original um, quote. There we go. Um, so that looks pretty good so far. What else can we mess around with? This is a transparency meter, so you can change how, uh, how dark it is uh, just by kind of scrolling through there. Sometimes you want to do that for certain designs. Um, we can also mess around with the different types of effects down here. So we have a shape generator. So what that does is it uh, adds a background, essentially, 
to your text, which in this case actually looks pretty cool. Um, I'm thinking maybe if we change the text color back to something uh, lighter, almost like that, the yellowish of the background, but then if our shape color, if we come down here, we can hit our shape color. If our shape color is a little bit darker, maybe something even closer to the color of the hand. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool, actually. Um, all right, so let's double click on this and we'll keep going. Uh, you can add a shadow to the back of the letters. In this case, we could mess around with the color of that and the different angles. Uh, I'm thinking it's a bit much, actually. And you could also add in an outline around the text itself. So just out of curiosity, I kind of want to see maybe what that would look like with if we did an outline of the same color as the hand. Oh, it seems to have changed other things. Yeah, uh, let's go back. I think it looked better like this. Yeah. Okay, so no outline for us. And finally, on the bottom, you have just recommendations. So WSpark does a really great job of kind of just giving you uh, certain versions that you could click on if you wanted to. Um, this one looks really similar to ours. I think I prefer ours. Uh, this one adds in a little bit more of an italic, which is nice, but this is kind of a bold, uh, a bold design. So I kind of, um, I'm thinking the way we had it might be the best. Yeah. Um, so. That is how to edit the text. You can go in and you can change these different elements, the background, where the hand is, how far it's coming out. Um, I actually kind of think maybe if we take it out a little bit and take our text and put it there, that would be pretty cool. Um, and you can add in your own full uh, photos, shapes, design elements, all of this stuff uh, you can mess around with. So this is um, kind of all set, I think, at this point. So to submit your design, you do need to take a screenshot and put it on a Google Doc, and that will get hyperlinked to your master creator checklist. If you are trying to print this off or you'd like to share it, you can come up uh, and hit the download button and go to a PNG, a JPEG, or a PDF, and you could download it. Or you could simply hit the share button, and it would send a link to whoever you'd like to send it to. So that is how to do an inspirational quote in Adobe Express.